Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Electro Lecture where the knowledge makes effect. This is Chandrakant and today we are going to discuss about the differentiator. So let's begin with it. First of all, let's start with the block diagram. What is the block diagram of differentiator? So in the block diagram of differentiator, you can see the non-inverting terminal is connected to the ground and the inverting terminal is connected to the V in voltage V in through the capacitor C and the feedback is taken through the resistor RF okay this is exactly similar diagram as we used in the integrator but the only difference is the we connected the feedback network as a resistor in the differentiator and as the capacitor in the integrator and at the input side at inverting terminal we used capacitor in the differentiator and resistor in the integrator so this is the difference between integrator and the differentiator so what is differentiator now so the definition of differentiator says is the output voltage depends upon the derivative of an input signal this is known as the differentiator so let's see the mathematical expression for the differentiator as we calculate the value of output voltage in the integrator similarly we, we are going to calculate here in the differentiator so first of all we take the input side at the input end the value of current i will be equals to the capacitor c ddt of v in minus v a we are calculating the value of current flowing through the point v in to the point v a so v a is the summing point and we know the value of v a is equals to value of v b the value of v b is zero why that's the the reason is the value of v b is connected to the ground so it is zero the another reason behind this is the internal resistance of an op amp which is called as ri is infinite so the current flowing through the internal resistance is zero that's why the value of voltage at point va and vb will be zero okay so the expression will become i is equals to c into ddt of v in cause va is a zero okay now we put this equation as an equation number one now see the output end at the output end we are going to calculate from point v a to the v zero okay so the value of current flowing through the v a to v zero is equals to v a minus v o upon resistor r which is a feedback resistor so we the v a minus v o upon r f okay so this is the value of current at the output end so again we know the value of v a is zero so the equation will become i is equals to minus v o upon r f so this equal equation will become equation number two now we are going to calculate or equate this both equation equation number one and equation number two and the new expression will become minus v0 upon rf is equals to c into ddt of v in so the rf which is in the denominator go to the numerator on the other side and it will become minus v0 is equals to c into rf into ddt of v in so this is the expression at output voltage vo now the last thing you have to do is changing the sign of an equation so at the left hand side the v0 is equals to minus c into rf ddt of v in this is the final expression of differentiator so as i told you earlier in the definition the output voltage that is v0 is the differentiation 
or derivative of an input voltage that is V in. So what is going to happen with the resistor and capacitor? They both are constant. So it is the output is directly proportional to the derivative of input signal. Here we have calculated with the mathematical expression. So this is for today guys. Hope you like this video and if you really really like this video please subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon on the side so you will get notified when I upload the new video. Thank you for watching. This is Chandrakant signing off. Thank you.